Hello and welcome to my F120 to try for career mode for part 58 and the final episode of this career mode. But for one final time, we are here in Abu Dhabi. We are starting last after a poor qualifying and after deciding to take a new turbo as well. Let's go to the race. And then one final time, we see the five red lights with Stappens on pole alongside Sainz. And we are racing in Abu Dhabi. And it looks like Max has got a better start ahead of sight. We've got a poor start at the back, but maybe to our advantage as we miss everything. But we need to get the job done. We have to carve our way back through the field. And the last race of the season we're doing, we've got to do a comeback drive. Just like we did all the way back in Australia but after that incident. We've got Joe ready. We're sending it up the inside of three of two cars, we nearly got the horse, we've got the Williams and Latifi, so Schwartzman, he was a, he was able to, not Joe, and now we were getting away, we are carving away through, but we make a big mistake at turn one, we spin it round in a beautiful pirouette, and that's Joe, in the Alfa Romeo, goes steaming into the side of us, and rips off his front left tyre, We've been spun all the way round. We've had to do a little three-point turn and we've somehow got away with no damage there. And that has brought out the safety car. So after the safety car, we are back racing and we were struggling to catch those in front actually. So this safety car has helped us. We go over to work with the TV. We were gonna send it down the inside. Of Swordsman and Magnuson we get those places back we lost. And now we're just carrying on, doing what we do, what we do best. We're now wheel to wheel with Albon and Ocon, and also Lando's out the inside as we get bouncing over the car. We've gained three places there, and now we can hunt down further. In front of us now is Piastri and Fernando Alonso. Piastri and Swartz and Alonso the dummy. We've gone okay then, we'll go down the inside of both of them. Uh, Alonso cuts back up our inside, he gained a position, but we got it back further around the lap. And now at the inside of sides, we have got so much pace on these hard tyres. We are literally carving our way through, picking them off one by one. We round the final corner to finish P6. Couldn't catch the top. Five, and I think that's a good result. So Max Verstappen finishes off his season with a win. After starting from the back in a bit of a drama filled race, we managed to get P6. We had great pace and was just picking them off one by one, but I just couldn't catch the top five in the end. We just ran out of pace. This is how the championship finished and everyone's results. Verstappen winning the championship by 49 points in the end. There was just five drivers who never Never scored a point, those being Schumacher, Stroll, Latifi, Joe and Robert Schwartzman. The Constructors was won by Red Bull with 427 points. We just lost out to Ferrari for second by just one single point. McLaren was fourth on 250 points. They really turned up this season since Singapore. They've been very, very quick. Fifth was Alfa with 122 points. They were just under the radar all season, doing their own thing, picking up some great points. Sixth place with Alpine on 93 points they've had a season to forget. Not as strong as previous years, but they did get that win with Alonso in America, so there is that as well. Seventh was Haas with 73 points. The biggest shock of the season as they had the best car at the start of the season, but just got outdeveloped and disappeared into the midfield. Eighth was Williams on three points, Albon getting all three of them. Ninth and tenth was Alfa Romeo and Aston Martin who both never scored a point all season. The teammate head to head for the season saw Verstappen beat Perez 14 to 2. We beat George 11 to 6. Gasly beat Lando 9 to 7. That's not good on McLaren's part. That team very much 
built around Lando. Alonso and Sonoda ended level on 8 apiece. Magnussen beat Ticton 12 to 4, but Ticton was driving for AlphaTauri at the start of the season. That's the same for Ocon as well, who beat Piastri 12 to 4 as well, but Piastri was also driving Haas at the start of the season. Albon beat Schumacher. 13 to 3, Stroll beat Latifi also 13 to 3, and finally Joe beat Schwartzman 10 to 6. Here is our final stats of the career mode. We never won a Drivers or Constructors World Championship. We got 3 pole positions and 9 race wins, which is only actually 8. If you remember back to season 1 in Brazil when everyone was disqualified when there was that safety car glitch, we also got 16 podium finishes as well. And we got a total of 462 points. We've driven 1,833 laps or 6,521 miles. And we joined four teams in four seasons. We weren't very loyal. This is our results over the four seasons. Stands out for me are our first win with Aston Martin in Mexico in season two and our win at Silverstone for our home GP this season. However, when you look at this season, results you can see exactly where we lost the title in Canada when we were on for the win until the engine popped and the bad run of races in France and Hungary because France we just got stuck behind Sonoda for pretty much the entire race where in Hungary we didn't get a point. I do feel like I have failed in this career mode we've not been able to win a championship when we were so close two seasons running and bottled it both times but that's it for my F122 driver career I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. It's a bit annoying for me that I couldn't bring you better content for the end of the career mode with the footage from America to now all corrupting so I've only been able to show you the highlights of those races but at least I have something to show you. But on a better note to end this series I hope you enjoyed from the very first episode back in Australia to now I have really enjoyed bringing it to you and with F123 on the horizon, I think it's time to say goodbye to the F122 driver career. Thanks for watching.